got it, it ain't a question Oh, it ain't no one for guessing No more than emotionally invested Showing you all my imperfections Oh, if I had you, don't take me for granted Hey y'all, okay, so I am getting ready to uh, edit a vlog, but before I start editing, I'm trying to prepare my little snack for the night. So I just finished the vlog and it's like, I'm trying to get uh, caught up because I didn't post at all Saturday or Sunday. So I'm trying to get caught up so we can get at least six vlogs out this week. So some of them might be shorter. Some of them might be longer. That's why I gave you guys like a long vlog on Friday. It was an hour long because I knew I wasn't going to post anything Saturday or Sunday. So y'all already know what I'm making. I'm just making um, some cucumbers and I'm going to make some olives and um, oh shit. Oh, girl, I wanted to do that so I can kind of offset what I uh, what I ate because I did have some wings. I went to Wingstop Friday night, so I ate that and I ate some fries. Hold on, let me wash this off. So I just wanted to offset my diet and just try to do like a you know a little bit of a you know, restart or whatever today, Sunday night. So, you know, when I wake up in the morning, I'll just be, you know, feeling, you know, feeling back to my regular self. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna slice up two cucumbers and this is it. So I hope that you guys are enjoying Rockmas. Uh, yeah, Rockmas, girl, I was gonna say Rocktober. Rockmas, um, It'd be a little bit tough because I don't be having stuff um, going on every single day, you know? And uh, one of the bombshells, she just made such a very positive message. She was like, you know, just saying like, Rochelle, you know, pick up the camera. Even if, you, if you're if you not doing anything, just pick up the camera. And so I don't know. I just be feeling like y'all going to be bored. I think that's one of the biggest things that we... As content creators, we don't want you guys to be bored with the content. All right, y'all. So it is, you know, I love y'all because baby, it's 9 30 p.m. I'm just now picking up the camera. I'm in here putting on makeup because I was just trying to take like a basic little picture for the thumbnail. And y'all know, like, I use that face app app to judge up my pictures. You know what I'm saying? And so, girl, I didn't have on no makeup. I did have the wig on, but it's like the wig was kind of like this. And so, girl, when in Face app, it's supposed to immediately recognize that you a woman, girl. It it did not recognize that I was one, a woman, baby. That Face app was like, is you a boy? And so, it kept giving me the options for how you fix a man's face or whatever. So, I was like... I, I had to come in and put some makeup on and kind of like soften my face up and like pull my hair to the, like this so it could give me the 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 um women options or whatever and so anyway that's why i'm in here trying to put on just a little bit of makeup so the darn app will work i mean because you know baby that thing had me look like benjamin franklin girl it was awful either george washington it it had me looking terrible so anyway I guess since we didn't turn the camera on, I want to like, y'all, I've been wanting to like make this shirt. Um, It's this shirt that I have that I bought from Value Village and it's so cute, but I want to like crop it, put some elastic in it, make it real cute. So I think we're going to do that. Um, And then, oh, this is another thing. Y'all know I be all over the place. Y'all, tell me if you guys... For Vlogmas, if you want, I'm just going to try to do like, I'm going to try to keep the vlogs from 20 to 25 to 40 minutes. Because it just seems like you guys do better for Vlogmas with the shorter vlogs. And so, I'm going to try to keep this one kind of short. Even though me personally, I ain't going to lie to you, babe. 
I love like I love long vlogs you know what I'm saying but I understand that you guys you know y'all have so many of your faves that you want to watch and uh I get that but um so I will try to keep the vlogs uh no more than 40 minutes now y'all let me know in the comment section if that's oh you know if you guys are okay with that I just feel like I was looking at my analytics and um I was noticing that the vlogs for vlogmas that are 40 minutes 25 to 40 minutes those are the vlogs that are doing exceptionally well so anyway girl let me kind of put on a little bit of makeup so I can try to how you gonna catfish the catfish app it's a shame when you got a catfish the catfish app but let me finish this makeup look real real quick it ain't gonna be nothing um it's not gonna be nothing like super fancy just enough for the app to recognize to do face recognition and know that i'm an actual woman that i'm not um a boy legalize nuclear bombs Alright y'all, so I ain't looking like, uh, I'm not looking like Rick James no more. I'm Rick James, bitch! Never mind who you thought I was, I'm Rick James, bitch! I'm not looking like him no more, so um, I am about to take a thumbnail picture, so I'm gonna just, cause I really don't have anything to put in this thumbnail. So I'm just gonna try to take a picture like on the bed, you know what I'm saying? And so maybe we'll just have one singular picture. So let's see. All right, y'all. So this is a shirt and we are going to transform this shirt. So I want to kind of crop it here and maybe add some elastic in the waist. Um, I've already ironed the shirt off camera and um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and start the transformation on this and hopefully it'll come out cute. <laughs> Like 
All right, y'all, so this is the finished product. So I ended up doing the shirt more like in a asymmetrical kind of way because um, once I finished it, I realized that it was like off. You know what I'm saying? Like the seams were off. And so what I did, I just made this part a little bit shorter. And so then in the back, it dips down in the back. And so I just love this. And so I paired it with these BCBG boots. I think I showed you guys these boots. I've never worn these. So I paired it with these boots. And then so this is the outfit. And it is so cute. And then, of course, I still I have on my... um my sports bra under here but y'all when i wear this i'm gonna actually just wear this with like a white bralette that way you know you raise your arms up or whatever you know what i'm saying the white and you know kind of just corresponds with everything so this is the look girl yes this is so cute and so y'all i used let me show y'all what i use this is a heavy duty fusion tape Okay, so you guys can buy this from um, Walmart. That's where I purchased this from. And so it looks like a piece of tape, but in the inside, you see that it has like this shiny uh, or textured um, material on the inside. So, so like I was saying, you can use that, um, that fusion tape. That way you won't have to, you won't have to really sew anything. And I think with this look, like I probably wouldn't wear my hair like this. I would probably do like a shorter look um, or even, you know, this could even be cute with a pullback bun. We'll see. I ain't gonna lie, girl. I love this. I feel so cute. I feel so pretty. <laughs> I love it. I think it's so cute and so creative. And then it's just sexy. I love it take these boots off y'all i bought a pair of boots when i tell you they bad as hell baby them boots bad as hell but i haven't showed you guys because girl them boots it's like they fit but they are hell to get on and hell to take off and so i haven't showed y'all those but oh girl I just kind of feel like maybe I should have purchased this boot in maybe like a size nine, guys. This is a nine and a half. And I'm kind of like, uh, maybe I should have got it in a nine. But then I think about the fact that if I wear socks with it, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, yeah, because I do have, I do have a lot of room at the, at the toe of the, the boot. And so... I was actually thinking about purchasing these in black. And if I do, I think I'm probably gonna get a size nine. We'll see. Because I have another pair of boots coming now, y'all. I didn't get went boot crazy. And it don't look like the weather is gonna. I don't know, girl. It don't look like the weather is gonna comply. But I think y'all wanna make some fries. <laughs> I think we're gonna um like because I want like a little snack because guys I have to edit this video because I'm, I want this video to go out tomorrow so today is December the 12th and so I really want this video to go out December the 13th so y'all pretty much getting content in real time um oh this is a beautiful boot girl oh this is gorgeous y'all this boot was four hundred dollars but i got it for 130 because i bought it from sax i think sax office and they had an additional percentage off so the boots were 180 then they gave me like another 25 percent off this is a very gorgeous boot the craftsmanship is amazing the leather is amazing i just i love it i used to be buying boots you know like hey girl so I had bought some boots from Burlington Co. Factory and I had went, you know, to this little, you know, to, you know, just to hang out or whatever with a friend of mine. And she had introduced me to some of her friends. And girl, one of the girls that she introduced me to, I overheard her talking about um with them with them big old cheap boots on. 
Girl, she said my boots was big and cheap. I mean, um, they were big and cheap, but sis, you didn't have to put me on blast like that. You know, she didn't have to call me out. I just thought that that was so, I just thought that was so tacky, you know? I was trying to, I want to show y'all, I want to show y'all my other boots. Let me see these Y'all look at this boot. Like, you can't tell me nothing. Baby, this is a bad, 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 bad boot. Bad boot. But it is so hard to get your foot in it. Now, when you, once you get your foot in there, it fits and everything. It's not a big deal. But this boot doesn't have a zipper or anything. I really hate that Nine West neglected to put a zipper on this. But y'all can't tell me this ain't a bad boot, baby. Baby, that's a bad boot. And baby, when I tell you I got some hot fire to go with that. What Dialon, Dialon said on, uh, what was the name of that show? Y'all, what was the name of that show? Puffy Head, making a bean, hot fire. We about to make some fries, bib. Okay, y'all, let me go put on my, let me go put on something comfy. Let me get comfortable. And when I come back, we're gonna make some delicious, seductive, yummy fries. <laughs> right y'all let me wash my hands on camera let me let me because you know the texas department of health you know they might be watching let me wash my hands girl washing the hands washing the hands now y'all no one has ever said anything and i have to say this i have to preference this every in my corporate karen voice i have to preference this in every cooking session no one has actually said anything to me about washing my hands, but I have seen them talk about other YouTubers and it just be making me mad because I just be like, it be making me mad because I just be like, we don't show every aspect of our lives, you know? Um, we don't show every single aspect and anytime you get ready to eat something, you might just be showing the food. You're not gonna show yourself going to the bathroom and washing your hands or washing your hands of the kitchen. We didn't, it's, it's no point in showing all that, but girl. I be having to make sure I wash my hands on camera because you know I don't want the um Texas Department of Health police is coming after me. But anyway, so y'all, y'all know what I think. Like I think um because when I do the this is corporate Karen voice, it reminds me of Brian Gumble, So I think her name is gonna be Karen Gumble. I am Corporate Karen, and we are reporting live from the Bombshell Kitchen. And I am here with a message. All right, so I did use this air fryer the other day. So we're going to make some delicious fries. All right, so we're not going to make that mini because I can't eat that mini. We're just going to make a few. Let me bring this over here so y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, so we're going to put it in the, um, in the little container thing. I guess that's the name of this thing. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to put some oil on these fries or not, girl. I don't know. But I think this is enough. I don't want to make too many because I be getting, I be getting full too fast. So y'all, this is all we gonna put. Oh, can y'all see? Hold on. This is all we gonna put in there. We're not gonna you put that many in there. All right. Okay. So let's see. Wait a minute. Let me wipe my hands off. So it's on, and then it even have the um, it has the options for fries. Oh, good lord! I don't know if I want to um. I'm just gonna okay. So it's gonna preheat. All right. So let let's let it preheat. I guess it's that easy. Like I guess you just put it, put the stuff in there, let it preheat, and that's it. Y'all, the bathroom is messy again, but what else is new? What else is new? Y'all understand shit. The house be clean and then it don't. 
All right, let me see. I'm waiting for these people to email me back, girl. Hold on. So that's what I want to talk about tonight. We gon' let's have a little. Y'all know I love one thing about me, baby. I love the girl chat. Oh, uh, uh. Not the camera moving all over the place, girl. Listen, I'm about to say this, and I'm letting you know right now. You might agree with it. You might not. But y'all. Y'all, I am not a strong black woman. I do not want to be deemed as a strong black woman. You know what I'm saying? Because I think I realized that I was not a strong black woman when I started working in like all white male dominated environments. Like in structural engineering, it was mostly men. Um, robotics engineering, it was mostly men. And so just working in those male dominated environments, and I hate to say this, but white male dominated environments, they don't believe, well, where I worked, they didn't believe in the strong black woman trope. And what I mean by that is like, when I worked at the robotics engineering firm, we had to move to the analytics center. Um, and so girl, we would be getting shipments and stuff that would be coming in and it was this other girl, like when I would go to work, I would dress really nice every day, always just really be pulled together. And it was this other girl, she worked there and we pretty much had a very similar job and her name was Bianca. But girl, when anytime they was shorthanded or I needed some help, guess who they would go get? Big old Bianca. They would go get Bianca. Bianca was like a big old tall girl. You know what I'm saying? She was very kind of like, uh, like really built up. And she was just like, you know, she wore like Timberlands and jeans and like them big, um, she used to wear them lumberjack, them big lumberjack shirts to work. And anytime they needed an extra hand, you know what I'm saying? They would go get old Bianca. They knew not to come in. Well, they was never going to come in my office and get me because I was just very dainty and very girly. Despite the fact that me and Bianca, again, had the same job. And girl, you would look up. They'll be shorthanded or somebody be then called in. Baby Bianca will be in there. One minute she be in there working on some invoices. The next minute you look up, she driving one of them damn John Deere trucks or whatever around the warehouse. And uh, so it was just like a lot of stuff that, you know, they... I feel like my management team and my uh, employees and my coworkers would they would just like protect me from like you know anytime like a chair or something needed to be moved into my office they'd either make Big Bianca do it <laughs> or either they would just make you know just have another one of the guys do it like it was never a situation where I was going out of my way and even like on um sales calls and business calls and weekly meetings like if my manager felt like one of the engineers or one of the project managers or anyone got too aggressive with me he would shut them down and so i never felt like i had to defend myself i had to be like this strong strong black woman you know i never felt that way and so it was just like because they didn't treat me that way. You know what I'm saying? They always treated me like I was a lady. So it was just like, it's nice getting away from that 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 strong black woman trope. And I'm not just talking about strong physically. I'm talking about strong mentally. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just like going into these work environments or just, just, just navigating through life. People just want to put this stigma on you that you just this grown black woman. But when I think about what people deem as strong black women, look at the things that they go through. Like look at Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson deemed his wife as a strong black woman and he been out cheating on her. TJ Holmes said his wife was a strong black woman and he cheated on her many times. In fact, he didn't wrote a damn 10 page letter and he sealed it with a kiss Telling her if she, I, if you be with me 10 more days, 10 more hours, 10 more minutes, 10 more years, 10, I don't even deserve 10 more seconds of your time. Basically, then wrote her a letter letting her, her know he ain't shit. And he done did this for their 10 year anniversary. And so he done wrote you a letter, like wrote her a letter talking about in her black woman uh, strength and 
all of this type of stuff and i just feel like the trope that comes with being a strong black woman people feel like if you're strong you can endure more pain you know if she's strong she don't need nothing you know she doesn't need medicine or she doesn't need love or she doesn't need the things that could very well heal you they don't feel that way because you're supposed to be this strong black woman so let's get away from the strong black woman trope let's completely get away from that um i am a strong woman but i'm not strong enough to deal with the things that you think that you're going to uh it, it, it you know put on me because i'm deemed as this strong black woman let's go check on these fries girl the damn fire alarm going off and the fries they, they not even burning i just said i just told the thing that i was done Ooh, baby! Ooh! Let me see. Ooh! It's the crispity, crunchity goodness. Ooh! Baby! Mmm! I'm gonna make you feel good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> and y'all see, see, this is why I don't eat on camera. Y'all see why I don't eat on camera? Cause it be the sound effects for me. Oh, baby. Yeah, them fries so good. It just make me want to walk in a circle. I don't even know what to do with myself, y'all. I done walked around my apartment at least 50, 11 times because these fries, they good, girl. You got to get you one of these. Okay, y'all. Let me um fix my little fries and stuff up or whatever, and I'm going to come back. But when I tell you those fries, they were so delicious. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mm, them fries was good. But anyway, so y'all, y'all want to hear a funny story? <laughs> so when I was a little kid, girl, we didn't really have like a lot of black shows and stuff. And so mostly the shows that we would watch, it would be like the Brady Bunch. It would be like um, Laverne and Shirley, you know, and Facts of Life. And it would be shows like that. So I used to watch them shows and I used to always see how the little white girls, they'll get mad at their mama or whatever. And then they would just run and like jump in the bed and cry. And I all, my literally y'all, my dream was to one day be able to just be like, mom, it isn't fair and go run and jump in the bed and cry. So we're about to do a reenactment. Mom, it isn't fair. You let Cindy go to the dance and you won't let me go. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, I literally, I literally wanted to just go jump in the bed and cry. But wait a minute, girl. Y'all, when, why when they cried, they used to be crying like, why they used to be, their whole body used to be like, <laughs> bitch, who cries like that? <laughs> why would you just like, throw yourself you know what i'm saying why would you throw yourself into a frenzy and just lay on the bed and and have your damn body jerking and shit like come on like come on come on sis you didn't have to do all of that to say that you was crying but anyway y'all let me get to editing and then um i'm gonna call y'all back <laughs> 